literacy in every language. A Gwinnett County bookstore is trying to stock its shelves with books in every language to increase literacy in the community. And in tonight's Voices for Equality, Paula Soros speaks to the owner of the bookstore who is funding it all out of her own pocket. Inside Plaza Las Americas in Gwinnett County, there's a new store. This is my favorite section. It's all bilingual books and story being written. The gift of literacy, it's going to be unmatched. It's unparalleled. Nuri Castillo Crawford, owner of the Little Book Spot, has big dreams from offering books in every language to hosting authors from other countries to speak to the community. 90% of writers in this country are white males, but we need to increase the diversity so that every single child feels seen. She's seen that need firsthand as a Gwinnett County schools administrator. As of last school year, the district was made up mostly of Hispanic and Latino students. I just don't see that reflection of people trying to access the books that are other languages as fast as it should be, and I'd like to help speed that up. Castillo Crawford believes in this passion project so much, she's paying for everything herself. It's a huge risk. I mean, 90% of indie bookstores go under within the first three years. If the community supports something, it will most likely thrive. Community members, including Gwinnett County mother Sylvia Golan, who speaks Spanish and English, have already donated books and decorations for the bookstore. And I struggled a lot in school. I didn't um, read well when I first came here. Reading is really what got me to um, learn a second language a little bit easier and a lot faster. The bookstore officially opens in April. Until then, Castillo Crawford is focusing on filling the shelves with books from all around the world. I think all of us here in the community are going to benefit from it. To donate, head on over to 11alive.com. Pablo Cerro, 11alive News.